Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. Now I am going to discuss about uh, another feature of this uh, circulatory system that is hepatic portal system. Before I start up explaining hepatic portal system, I would like to revise uh, what are the blood vessels which are entering and leaving the heart which we have uh, discussed earlier. So, blood vessels entering the heart. So, the first one was superior vena cava secondly inferior vena cava then thirdly pulmonary veins so these are the blood vessels which are entering the heart the next blood vessels leaving the heart so as you all know one is pulmonary artery which arises in the right ventricle going towards the lungs for the exchange of gases or purification of blood then iota which arises from the left ventricle moving towards the different parts of our body so now after understanding this now it's time to understand how this iota is being supplied how this iota is supplying blood to different parts of our body now we know it's the largest blood vessel coming out of the heart now this further branches into different blood vessels which carry blood to different parts of the body out of this i am going to discuss only few important blood vessels now one is hepatic artery the name itself hepatic indicates this is the blood vessel which goes to liver right then we also have something called as renal artery the renal indicates its kidney the organ is kidney right now and now here the hepatic artery is the one which is supplying blood to the liver but here it is not directly going to liver it further branches into blood vessels which go to different parts of our digestive system if suppose you all know this Right, you know. Now, see this uh, diagrammatic representation of the digestive system. So, this is the liver. Now, the from the iota, the blood vessel hepatic artery is not directly going to liver because after digestion, the food which is being absorbed will be transported through blood to the liver. So, before it enters directly into the liver, the hepatic artery further divides into different blood vessels entering into suppose this is the hepatic artery. from iota this will branch goes to stomach to large intestine and small intestine so as we learned earlier that artery divides into 
further branches known as arterioles. Now, these arterioles will form what? Capillaries. We have discussed this earlier. Arteries further branch to form capillaries and these capillaries will collect the digested nutrients or whatever the food materials and these capillaries will unite to form venules and these vein will enter the liver. Now, these structures from the stomach, from the small intestine, from the large intestine, these will form a vein known as hepatic portal vein. Now, the hepatic artery divides into arterioles and capillaries which surround the stomach large intestine and small intestine and they all reunite to form venules and vein which is known as hepatic portal vein which carries the blood to liver now. Why this happens? Because if the artery has to go directly to the liver then what happens to this digested food by this digestive parts because we know after uh, digestion process absorption occurs by the uh, villi present in the intestine that will be carried through blood to the liver finally because in the liver the excess of glucose present in the digested food will be converted into glycogen and also if any toxic substances are present in the food they will be detoxified by the liver. So, for these reasons these hepatic artery will form a different blood vessel known as hepatic portal vein which comes from the stomach small intestine and large intestine and they unite and form this hepatic portal vein and they enter into the liver again forms the capillaries and these all capillaries again unite and form the vein known as now this vein is known as hepatic vein. So, the hepatic artery branches into arterioles and they form the capillaries in the stomach region. This is the stomach, this is the large intestine, this is the small intestine and they form capillaries in the respective digestive organs and they further unite to form a blood vessel known as hepatic portal vein. This hepatic portal vein enters into the liver again they it divides into capillaries and reunites to form the hepatic vein which again goes to vena cava the inferior vena cava and pours blood into the right auricle. So, this is uh, what we are going to discuss in the hepatic portal system. Unlike the other blood vessels which directly go to the respective organ and collect the carbon dioxide and come out, here what is happening? The hepatic artery is further dividing to form capillaries in the respective digestive organs and uh, further it unites to form hepatic portal vein and it enters the liver and from the liver it forms the hepatic vein uh, which enters into the vena cava. So, the blood vessel which starts with the capillaries and ends with the capillaries is known as hepatic portal vein. So, this is about the hepatic portal system where it is different from other arteries where the artery is not directly going to the organ. It is branched to form capillaries and these capillaries again unite to form a vein and this vein will form the main hepatic vein. So, this is about hepatic portal system. Thank you for watching the video.